Websites use authentication to make sure that users can securely access their services and data while making sure that bad actors can't. In token-based authentication, a service creates a special token that can identify and prove who a user is. Holders of the token are then able to interact with the service as if they were that user. But what is a token? Within the context of authentication, we can liken tokens to an identification card. Both provide mechanisms to hold information, like who the ID belongs to, and ways to prove that the ID is real. Because IDs and tokens are used similarly within this context, we can further explain how tokens work through an ID scenario. Let's say an organization wants to restrict access to some of its resources. They only want members to be able to access them. To identify members, they will issue each member an ID card. We'll call this ID-based authentication. When a person joins the organization, they will hand over information proving who they are. The organization will then verify that information and issue an ID card that uniquely identifies them if everything checks out. The next time the person wants to access a restricted resource, they can present their ID card for verification. The organization can check the ID to make sure it's real and that the person has access to the resource. We can describe token authentication similarly. Instead of a person, we have a user using a browser or an app. Instead of interacting with an organization, we're interacting with a web server. And instead of presenting an ID, we're now presenting a token for verification. First, a user will send identifying information to the web server, like their username or password, or maybe a pin code that they get by text or email. The web server will then verify that information and create and issue a token back to the user. Typically, the browser or web app will hold on to this token for use in future requests. When a user then wants to access a resource, the browser or app will attach the token to that request and forward it on to the web server. The web server can then verify that the token is real and whether or not the user has access to the resource and return accordingly. That's how token authentication works. Let me know in the comments what other parts of websites and services you'd like me to cover. For those of you building with .NET Core and Next.js, I built token-based authentication into my own project, CloudSeed. You can get access to the full source code and use it as a starting point for your own projects at the link in the description.